So I've been eyeing the Cricut heat press, but I just could not justify spending $150. So I hopped on to Amazon and I saw this 12 by 10 easy press heat press for only $89.99, rounded up $90. So this is the machine that I purchased. I will link all information and links down below in the description box, but this is the smart heat press machine and it's a 12 by 10 heat press so once you get your box open this is what you'll see at the very top of the box you do have some sample transfer vinyl sheets you can use this to test out um, your heat press You'll also receive a user manual for your heat press machine. Please keep this within reach as it does have very useful information in it. You have a canvas bag that is used for storage for your heat press. Very well made. And then of course you have your heat press machine itself. Not only do you have the heat press, but you also have a safety base that the heat press will sit on. One. All right, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this heat press as I unbox it. Again, it is a 12 by 10 heat press. Um, it has a 12 by 10 heating plate. Um, great for t-shirts, jackets, sweatshirts, blankets, canvas bags, you name it. It's lightweight. It's only 8.6 pounds. It works great with all types of HTV, safe anti overheating construction, it heats evenly and quickly. And of course, it's very, very user friendly, very easy to use, um, very sleek, very comfortable to use. The handles are easy to hold. A very beautiful machine and I highly recommend it. Designed very nice. Um, I really have no complaints. I love it. And back to that canvas bag. This is how you will store your heat press. Of course, you will want to store your heat press once it has cooled. You never want to put a hot heat press into your canvas bag. This is the user manual that I said you want to keep pretty close to you. Um, of course, it's your typical user manual. It'll have your diagrams of your heat press, what's included. Um, shows you about your on and off feature, how to adjust the temperature, the timer. Um, just basically setting up your heat press. But the main thing that I loved was this chart back here. It gives you very detailed information as far as time and temperature guide for all of the HTV that you could possibly use. Now this is an item that I purchased additionally. Um, this is the heat press mat. Um, this is not included in the box. This is a separate purchase. I don't necessarily feel that you have to buy this, but I did buy it because I saw a lot of people buying it along with this heat press. All right, now let's turn our machine on. So that is our power button. If you press the temperature button, you will adjust the temperature by pressing the up and down and then once you set it to the desired temperature you will press the temperature button once again you will also do the same with the timer you will press the timer button adjusts it to the desired time and then press the timer button again to set it your heat press will begin adjusting to the desired temperature. You will see the numbers changing. 
And of course, give it a few minutes just to get to where it needs to be. Okay, so once the temperature has gotten to where it needs to be, you will see that your start button turns green. So now we're going to test this heat press on some um, on a project. My brother made a logo, and I wanted to press this logo onto a jacket. So I printed it out, and I'm going to cut it on my Cricut machine, and we're going to see how it comes out. So I didn't record myself actually pressing it, but this is what it looks like. I think it is adorable. It is on there firmly. I love it and he loved it as well. I definitely will be making more of this. And this heat press is fantastic. Highly recommend. 